Hi, David again with ConcertBlogger.com. Today we're here with pop singer-songwriter Ashley Allen. Hi, Ashley. Thanks Hello. for thanks for sitting down with us. Um, what's going on? How are you? Not much. Just hanging out. Hanging out. Not enjoying this weather at all. A little cold. A little cold here in New York this time of year. Um, first, uh, you know, you've got so many things going on. You get so many projects going on. But I thought. The first, uh, the way I wanted to start it was to say something about, like, how did you come to love music? How, when you were a kid, how did you, you find music to be the, your passion in life? My parents, they were just really into music and I kind of just, just kind of just went into my life. Um, and pop music is really what started it. The moment I saw Britney Spears playing, that was a pretty big moment for me. But definitely my parents, I would say, is like the number one influence. What kind of music did they listen to around the house? What were, you, what were your first impressions of music? Well, my mom loved Madonna. Oh, well, there you she, go. She wanted to be Madonna. I think she still does a little. Um, She's fierce. Madonna's fierce. There's nothing wrong with wanting to be Madonna. I love Madonna, Celine Dion. And my mom was really into like her generation pop. So I think that's really what made me love pop. And then my dad... Um, a rock guy for a little bit, and now I just he enjoys Taylor Swift these days. <laughs> Definitely Motown and music like that, and R&B. Cool, cool. Your music is so upbeat with uh, your killer pop hooks. Is that just a reflection of who you are, or is it who you're striving to be, or what? No, it's definitely who I am. I'm definitely as weird and crazy and positive as my music sounds. Cool. Well, awesome. That's a great thing to be. Um, you have a new EP out. Um, Body say no, heart say yes. And the first single is the title track, and it was featured by Ryan Seacrest. How exciting is that? Very exciting. I loved it. I mean, I tweeted him, but he didn't tweet me back. But <laughs> no, it was really, it was really awesome to even be given that opportunity to like have him notice it. So cool. So tell me about the song a little bit. That um, you you just uh, had a uh, video that you released about it. Yep. Uh, well, that's what Ryan Seacrest released. Oh, it was the video? Was okay, the I understand. Video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and really the song is just, you know, my body say no, heart say yes. It's not about a guy. Um, <laughs> Put that right out there, yeah, right first. because I don't know what kind of love song my body says no, my heart says yes would really be. <laughs> it's not really a love song. No. It's like an unlove song. Um, but it's just a song about, you know, seizing the day and, you know, if you ever feel down or you feel hungover or... You feel just, you don't want to get Haven't up. slept enough the night before, Maybe. three hours or four hours. Maybe. You still get up and you go and do what you're oh, doing. I always get a solid eight hours. <laughs> I somehow find that hard to believe. <laughs> um, so tell me about the record and the, and the recording process. Um, you worked with a, a few different producers and or a producer, a um, team? Yeah, just, to, yeah, just a, like, a, produ a production team. Yeah. Um, called Cash Cash and they're, you know, they're amazing. Um, and just... Um, this EP really, I mean, there's not really any ballads on it, and that was not on purpose. Um, I felt like what I wanted the world to hear from this EP, um, when I'm introducing myself pretty much to everyone, is just, you know, just very, you know, like, what songs define who I am as a person, and then I feel like, you know, for my album, I definitely have ballads and love songs and other songs to incorporate into that. But this EP is really just an introduction to Hi, I'm Ashley, and this is like... And this is what I do. Yeah. And this is what I do very good. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, so you also, you have a video that, that you were talking about there, the Let's Go video. What went into uh, making that really kind of crazy, all sorts of dancing and colors and all different things going on. Why don't you tell me about that a little bit in that process? Well, that was rushed really, really quickly when we found out that Ryan Seacrest was like, I'll be married video. We were like... Okay, let's make a video. So I always had my vision of how I wanted my videos to be, how I wanted to be seen. And I felt like this was the best thing to ever happen, to have to rush it, because no one was able to tell me no. It was like, this is how, this is how it's it, doing it, and, and exactly this is how the video is going to be. And I like surrender, I'm like, if you don't like this video, then you don't like me. And, you know, when you manifest and you just follow your heart, I mean, so this video is just really, um, it's really exciting because I feel like I'm doing what I want to do. Cool. So um, you've been touring a lot recently, literally all over the world. Um, you had a trip to Australia. What was that? What was that like? I mean, that was awesome. I mean, I wish it was summer though. I mean, it was May, but it just turned winter. Uh, it was just a really great experience to be able to do that. Definitely. Cool. Miss Taylor Dane. <laughs> there you go. Um, 
do you have any kind of songwriting process on the road or does do any of those um, the things that are happening to you on the road and the experiences that you have go into your music at all? Well, of course. I mean, I can't write songs I don't really to. I mean, I guess I could, but I choose not to. Uh, really just, I mean, it's not like you sit down and you're like, okay, I mean, you can sit down and, do, and just be like, okay, we're going to write a song about this and this, but on the road, it's really just sometimes you just get ideas. I always carry a journal with me. I write, I write in, and you know, the writing process for every song is so different. It's really hard to be like, this is exactly how it's done. There's so many ways. Every every time is always different. Every time different. is just so different. Yeah. Cool. Um, so you'll be going out on the road soon here Sunday. with the high school. The uh, Sunday. There you go. Really, really soon. Um, the high school nation tour with uh, Taboo and Drake Bell. Yep. Um, what's what's that going to be like? You're going to high schools, actually? It's really awesome. I'm actually, I, I cannot wait to get back. I was just there for four days. But it's, uh, High School Nation is really just, to me, like, the way to explain it, it's like a mini festival that this amazing High School Nation uh, company, they put together for these kids. And it pretty much happens at the end of their school day. And they set up tents and they have contests and... Uh, every school gets a donation of ten thousand dollars to their music and arts program. Oh wow! The show it's That's it's so really awesome. awesome. It's and the kids are amazing and it's just so it's just so awesome. It really is. I can't really say much more than like I'm so excited to be part of it. That's cool. And you get your music gets out there to a whole new a yeah. whole new group of young fans. Hopefully, you know, yeah. future Mine's future cool. fans, <laughs> your devotees. Um, any other projects coming up? Anything else that's uh, after the tour? You said something about an album. You have a full album that you're working on? I mean, I, I could literally probably release 50 albums. That's how many songs I have. Uh, but there's no plan for an album just yet. Uh, definitely, really, this, you know, I, they take it day by day. And this tour, you know, is what's, you know, what's next. Because um, it didn't even start yet. And then, you know, really just, we've started going to radio. And, you know, and more radio tours. And many all these ama amazing radio people, so... That's pretty much what's next. And then summer. So and, then and then summer. summer. And then summer, there's always some crazy stuff happening. There's, uh, there's a lot of... Who even knows what's going to happen? So I have to ask, what's the story with the wolf shirt? Well, when I was little, I was raised by wolves. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. That's what happened? Well, actually, I had wolves. So I tend to relate. I howl at the moon sometimes. You howl at the moon sometimes? <laughs> well, it's a very nice shirt. So one last question that I ask most of my interviewees. Um, what is something about yourself that maybe the average fan doesn't know about you? And maybe it's that you were raised by wolves, but maybe there's something else in there that that you wouldn't, you know, that the average fan wouldn't really relate to. Oh, that's that's really what she, who she really is? Um, when I was 15, I picked up my bags and I moved to France by myself. Really? I was like, adios, mom. Dad. No, I think it's Alfa though. Um, and then I went again when I was 17, and just kind of it was something that I kind of felt like I needed to get away, and I went to Canada. And it, I, uh, there was a bunch of people like in the street performers, and they were um, performing, and they were speaking French. And then every time they would say something, like I, I would scream, and all the other French people would scream. And my cousin was like. I didn't even know what they're saying, and I'm like, I don't know, I just do. <laughs> it turns out I didn't really know what they were saying, but ever since then I was like, I just was fascinated with the language, so I guess I can kind of speak it. There you go. Oui. There you go. Oui. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much, merci beaucoup, um, for your for your your time, and uh, we look forward to seeing you out there on the road. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs>